for the IBF International and the WBO Global Super Lightweight titles. Introducing first, our challenger, fighting out of our red corner. He weighed in at 62.65 kilos. Unbeaten in his professional career, 17 fights, 17 victories. Training under Agron Curtisi, he fights out of Romania's Fight Power Academy. Former Romanian and WBC World Youth Champion, please welcome James Karaji. <laughs> Fighting out of our blue corner, he weighed in at 63.3 kilos. Also unbeaten in his professional career, 18 fights, 18 wins, 11 by way of knockout. Training under Alfie DiCarlo at DiCarlo Boxing. This man is the current WBO Global and the IBF International Super Lightweight Champion. Give it up for Liam the Prodigy Paro. Gentlemen, I've given you instructions in the change room. Good luck to both of you. Defend yourself for a little time. That's guys. Ten foot rounds of boxing action. Phil Holiday is our referee. Well, here we go, guys. The first of our two main events here tonight between Liam Paro and James Cherizi from Romania. It's a 10 by three minute contest, fought for two titles, the IBF International Super Lightweight title and the WBO Global Super Lightweight title. This will be an interesting one, boys. Yeah, two great professionals, uh, Nathan, both undefeated, both former WBC World, both former World Youth Champions. Yep. Yeah, both I'm made good. weight comfortably last night on the scales. Both uh, spoke very, Calmly, very confidently, James Archeridi said uh, to me last night at the Wayne that he comes here uh, confident that he can stop the momentum of Liam Paro, confident that he will return home to Romania undefeated. 
on the other side of the coin, Liam Paro is always ultimate professional um, as well. Very, very calm, made weight comfortably and, and very similar. Said he comes into this fight, he said, confident, we're not cocky, we're not overconfident, but I'm confident in what I've done and had a little bit of an opportunity to have a chat to him after the weigh-in and he mentioned it's uh, probably the, one of the best preparations he's had in terms of his weight and everything like that. So uh, look forward to a uh, sharp showing from both boys. Yeah, very similar records to both boys, even though Liam has had the one more pro fight on paper Ray! compared to James. James Ray! has actually boxed for a total of 103 rounds compared to Liam's 81. So the pro boxing experience is essentially with James. Yeah, the, both boys bring their undefeated records. That's the biggest thing here, where they both know they're putting it every, everything on the line. So a win here for both of them could be life-changing with yep. the Paro rated number two by the WBO, number three by the IBF. So a win here could potentially make him in a mandatory position for a world title fight. Yep. And a win from Cherezi could do the same. Low blow there from Cherezi, hitting nice and low. Referee for Lola Holiday pulling him up. So just a warning there for the, the low blow. Which how important a fight, well, we know how important a fight this is for both boys. Now, yep. Liam Paro, we know, on the path to a world title. As you mentioned there, number two in the WBO, number three in the IBF. So don't have to be Einstein to suggest he's very, very close. But every fight now that he is in is a stepping stone towards that. And at the same time, it can all come undone very, very quickly. How hard is it for him concentrating on the job at hand here when you know the big picture is so close? Yeah, that, that's very true, James. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. Every fight could be life-changing, getting you to that spot of that world title, but also could be devastating as well with that loss. So, although that's always in your head, I think with a, a corner like Liam Paris, they've always got him with that winning mentality. I don't think that he's even considering that he's going to lose. He's extremely confident coming into this fight. He's got such a good corner behind him as well, such a good promoter behind him as well. But nevertheless, he's got another undefeated, hungry opponent in front of him that also wants these life-changing opportunities as well. Yeah, and James is also, you know, he's no foreigner to the belts as well. He's obviously a former WBC youth super lightweight champion and a former national Romanian champion. So no strangers to collecting belts, like I said. No, I think you would like to add two more here tonight. So we'll see how this one pans out. Very entertaining so far. Very, it's not almost like a chess match to this uh, to this point, but it usually always is with these two tech with these two technical fighters. But I think they'll open up a lot more as this fight progresses and warms up. You see the highlights here of round them on. There's that uh, that blow that uh, referee Philip Holiday ruled it to almost be just on low. the belt line there. I'd say a little bit under the belt, so. The referee was right in calling that. There's that corner you spoke about before, Adam. So we see Alfie Di Carlo, the, uh, the head trainer there with the instructions. Stephen Edwards, he's had a quick change of shirt, change of corner as yeah, well. He's been busy tonight. <laughs> A very good opening round, as you said, Nathan. It's like a chess match there. I yep. think as the next rounds go on now, we'll start to see the boys open up a little bit more as they try to uh, they figure each other's styles out. You can oh. see the focus in Liam Paro's eyes there. And the southpaw stance, he likes to counter on that back foot a lot. Cherizi coming forward. Very oh. sharp punches by Cherizi, though, he's coming forward. Well, when fronting the media when he landed here in Brisbane, James... He seemed very confident from the outset, straight away. And when, when obviously, the media asked him, they said, how are you going to beat Liam? And he, said, and he, he replied with one word. He said, he mentally. Up, he, he thinks he can outsmart Liam, out-strategize him. You can see he's a very technical fighter, so he's doing a good job so far. But uh, easier said than done, beating Liam Parra. He's got good movement as well. Parra's thrown that straight left a few times, and Cherezi's made it miss. They're coming straight back forward. I think we're going to be in for a great 10 rounds here, boys. Yeah, terrific fight. Love the way that it started so far. Oh, oh another low blow there. Stop. That Stop. one was clearly low. It's low blow. It's low blow. You see? I saw it's low blow. Don't hold him there, okay? Pick him up. You're okay. You're okay. Paro wanted Stop. to get straight back in there. Yeah, nice strong hooks there from James Cherezi. He throws that looping hook to the body, which you can find is why it tends to sometimes go low beyond that belt. You know what? Even though he's hit him low twice, it's actually the right punch to throw. <laughs> if, he's actually hit, if you actually hit him in the right spot, it's a perfect punch. As somebody's rushing in, you hit him with that body shot, it really takes the wind out of them. But like I said, he has hit him low twice. 
I was going to say the same thing. It's exactly yeah, right. Yeah. It's, a, it's a punch there that uh, that is there for him, and, and he's, he hooks with the body well. Unfortunately, though, he's just got to... We talk about boxing being a game of inches. He's, he's just been out with, uh, with, the, with the direction a couple of times there with that one straight down the pipe in the middle. Yeah, I think that's right in this one, Jane. I think it's, this one's going to be a game of inches. Yeah, you can see both boys very experienced, so they're not going to lunge in with those shots that they're going to be made to pay for. So I think as with these guys on, we're going to see Liam Paris tend to sit back on that back foot, has to go a bit more of a counter-punching role. James Rudy isn't overawed by this occasion, is he? You he's mentioned. not, and he said he was going to win mentally. That's how he's going to win it. So he's not going to be overawed, and he hasn't been. You can see that. What better way to get in your opponent's head than to hit him below the belt twice? No, that's... that's look at that, guys. Look at that. Look at that. Potentially a game plan. That'll get him look more than your head. James will be uh, Liam's sixth international opponent in a row, so he's no foreigner to the, the foreigner, I should say. So oh, that's I like that move there from Liam Paro, where he attacks and then moves back just inches away from that looping hook. That's what he needs to do, sit on that back foot. Yeah, nice man. left hand coming forward there. Yeah, now he's luck, got man. the momentum. Yeah, that's much better. Moving back just out of range now. There we go. So Liam's starting to find his in range now. He's in his zone. Moving back. Just got to be careful though, he's got to stay tight at the same time because James Cherizi is willing and he will throw. Uh, as he throws a couple of good shots himself there to finish the round, Liam Paro. So good round there by Liam Paro. Yeah, ve good very finish. competitive fight, but definitely a round for Liam Paro. We'll see the highlights coming up here. So this is some of the action from round number two. There we go, there's that movement after making him miss. There's that, that low, low, low shot. Clearly low. I guess for the viewers at home, explain with the low blow that comes down to the referee, and he would have said this to both of the fighters. He is okay, he is not okay. Sometimes whether it's that belt line, whether it's below that belt line, wherever, uh, wherever the referee deems that it to be the uh, to be below the, the line of where he'll accept punches. So both boys know that before they come in to the fight. And uh, James Trujillo, while he's been upset with the, the call a couple of times, yeah. we've seen there on the replays. He's, as you as said, he's got a perfect punch, which just. Doesn't quite be. Just a little bit too low. Round number three. Those meet center ring. Yeah, this is a good fight. I like it. This is uh, very competitive, very strategic. Both boys giving it their all here tonight. It's a big left hand just missing the mark there from Liam yeah, Parham. Look at that, guys. In preparation for this fight, actually, the ex boxing group flew over one of Jeff Horn's previous opponents, Enrico Mueller from uh, Germany. So I actually attended one of the sparring sessions between the pair, and I can tell you it was one-way traffic to, uh, to Liam. So there's no disputing he's had the right preparation for this assignment here tonight, but it looks like James Cherizi has too. Liam Parra looks to have a good game plan going now. He's landing and then he's making him miss. He's just got to be careful not to get drawn too far into it, but what he's doing right now is perfect. Landing one, landing two, and then sitting back at that left foot, just staying at his range. You can see it's frustrating Cherizi now, where he's tending to come in and want to hold, want to tie it up that little bit, which is all working into Liam's favour. He's just got to stay focused now. Ten rounds is a very long time. He's got to stay focused, stay content, sit back on that left foot. Looks a little mark or so that's uh, just starting to mark up under the eye there of Cherigi. You can see there on camera as they get in close together. And you can also see on the back of the trunks there of uh, Liam Paro RG. Uh, very touching story. You probably would have seen uh, highlighted on the uh, the national news in the lead up to this camp. Well, it's a story obviously that many around Liam Paro know. He's fighting, of course, in the memory of his of his friend uh, in Regan Grieve, who uh, passed away. He's a friend from uh, Mackay. So. Every fight, he, he carries yeah. those initials. He's got a tattooed on his body as well. And he said it's a, an inspiration. Oh, nice counter hook. This is where he's going to get James Therese. He's going to get dangerous, where he's he's almost going to get desperate. He's so hungry to win this fight. When they're in close, he's going to just throw those desperate punches where Liam needs to make sure he stays tight. Stay at his range. Don't get tied into that in close game. Well, this is a big opportunity for James Therese. If, he, if, he, knocks off, if he knocks over Liam, all of a sudden, he catapults up the rating. So, and it, you know, anything could happen from there. Everything can change in the career of both men right here tonight. James Chirigi can skyrocket his career with the performance here tonight. Yeah, and if Liam is able to convincingly win this, I think 
there is some massive news in the not so immediate uh, immediate future for for Liam as well. He's uh, he's he's very close to something big, I think, very soon. He's obviously rated number two in the world with the WBO and rated number three with the IBF. So, you know that that knock could come at any time now. Nice left hand there, coming forward, sitting back. I like Liam's centre of balance there, where he sits. He's, he's so controlled in that centre there, where he's, his footwork, his knees are nice and low. So if he does wear those shots, he's not going to be off balance, and he's not going to. His momentum isn't going to take him down like we spoke of in the earlier fights. You can see there, where in the replay there, where he's avoiding those punches. He's that centre of gravity is right in the middle there, so he's easy to transfer that body rate as he avoids punches. Yeah, and he moves to the side of the punches, obviously left or right. He, he almost pivots to one side. And he uses all the all of his all of his momentum to almost shoulder barge shoulder barge his opponent off off his feet. And look at that there. He's got that little tap with the left hook there. That just all that done was change that guard of James Dreese. Yep. As soon as that guard moved, bang! Liam Parra hit that left hand. Correct. So that's little, where he's a very smart fighter with those little things. Little movements. And at this level, you need to know those things. You know, obviously, there's little tricks of the trade, and he's got them all. Here we go for round number four. We're scheduled for ten. We fight champion Liam Parra, the WBO global title, and also the IBF international super lightweight titles. Teresa coming in, closing the gap now. Stay back, stay back. Stop this here. The red corner pushing him forward, calling him forward there, yeah. liking him when he's in close. Almost playing a stalking role behind his gloves. He's just waiting for the opportunity to pounce. Is, is James Jerusi. There's those little kind of rough shots which we were talking about earlier where when he's in close, he's going to throw them in. And that's where Liam's got to make sure he stays tight, stays on his game 100% of the fight. One punch can change everything. Trying to look for that body shot again with James Cherizzi as a cut appears on the top of his eyebrow here. I don't know if it's caused by a head clash or a punch, but it's there nonetheless. Beautiful footwork there by Liam Paro as he lands that, that jab and the little right hook and then stepped off the line. Making sure he's, he's not in that front line when James Cherizzi wants to come forward. You can almost see there Cherizzi walk forward when that momentum nearly pushed him forward. Oh, there's that little punch off the break. Referee won't let that happen. Oh, nice oh, counter yeah, one yeah, too. That was a good half a step back and hits him with two punches there, Liam Parra. See that footwork looks good. That centre of balance there, dodging punches, and he's there ready to counter. Yeah, he just got, him, got caught there himself with his own shot, but he's just going to move his head, but doing it head, well most of the time. Cherizzi wants to close the gap. Liam Parra says, let's close it then. Cherizzi throws, Liam answers. James Cherugi says he's going to win this fight with the mental battle. He's got a real mental battle on his hands right now. You can see, as we've always seen in fights with Liam Parra, that gets a stage in the fight where, to, to use a term, he turns the screws. Oh, and you can nice see that has most certainly been this round. Yeah, he's fronting Everest at the moment, but uh, he's willing to climb it. He, James Cherugi, you can see he's willing. He's definitely willing. He's, he's trying his guts out. but. Just the skill of Liam Parra is just a little bit too much for him at the moment. Now, one of the things I love about Liam Parra, and I've sat beside you for a lot of his sites recent times, as I said, and it's the work of his team, as I said, how they turn the screws when it gets to the stage. And obviously, Alpha says, OK, now we're well taking done. another step. Now we're going to another step. The way this young man steps up at different stages of fights is something I think is, is really, really great to see. And, and James Drew is sort of learning a bit about that right now. Well, you've got to have those gears. I mean, especially if your game plan is not going to plan, you've got to change it up mid-fight, you know? So if you can't do that, you're never going to win titles. So it's good that he's got that as part of his utility belt. But here, here in the action right now, he's hitting him with the body, hitting him to the head. He's hitting him with every shot at the moment. Liam Parra. Beautiful round there by Liam. Walks back to the corner with a wink to his friend Alfie DiCarlo. You can Great see, round, Liam Paro. You can see Liam's really found his distance now. He's sitting in that perfect spot. Every time he's in close, Liam Paro wants to be in close. As we can see some replays here of the previous round, it was a clinical performance by Liam, just making him miss and making him pay. Just missing by millimetres. 
but striking when he has to. Got caught with a good shot himself there, Liam, as he was coming in. Other than that, it was all one-way traffic. So you can see the way that he holds that centre balance with his feet being so well is when he makes a miss, why he's always in that perfect, perfect position to be able to punch straight away again. So if he's sitting there, no matter which hand he's ready for, he's ready right in the centre there, he's ready to fire back. Great insight from two gentlemen beside me. If you're a boxing fan like me, you can sit here and listen to them all day. Great to give you that insight at home watching this fight. Let's see what comes of this next round. Pivotal round in the fight. This is round number five, round four. A massive round to Lamparo. James Chirigia, let's see if he can change things here in the fifth. Well, he doesn't want to sit in the pocket there if he's going to change it because that left hand is going to pop his head back constantly. There it is again. He just wobbled him with that left hand. He can smell the blood here, Lamparo. He's hurt him and he's hurt him back. Oh, who legs it down, puts James Cherizzi down. There was the first knockdown, and you could see it coming from a mile away. Yeah, Barrett, nice and relaxed. He's ready to get straight back onto him. Oh, right, hook left hand by Liam Parrott, straight down the pipe of James Cherizzi. You just got to watch out that he doesn't get caught with his own shot as he's rushing in now, Liam. He's just got to still stay very settled with himself and balanced. He's definitely hurt James Cherizzi, but you can see here now he's tagging him with his own shots. This is where James Cherizzi will be desperate and he will throw these big shots and Correct. Liam Parra has to be careful. Correct. He needs to stay focused, stay to the game plan. There's still a long time left in this fight. Keep breaking him down. When he lands, make him pay. Oh, nice left hook there. Break! Stay back, guys. Stay back. Stay back. Don't push it. Stay back here, okay? Alfie, move down here. Just a shot missing just there. The straight left hand just missing the mark from Liam, but that one connects. Another nice body shot. There. Parra caught it well. Left uppercut through the middle. Good uppercut. Still a minute 15 to go in this round. Still plenty of time. A long time to survive right. for James Cherizzi. Stay back, stay back. You can stay see back, the guys. claret building right. up on his face. Guys, go. Come on. When I say break, you both step back, okay? Let's go. Good. Good. Both boys want to keep their eye on their record. An undefeated fighter is a dangerous fighter because they don't know how to lose. And neither of these boys have lost and they want to keep it that way. And that's the mentality you can see James Cherizzi has. Although he's behind, he is still willing to fight. He does not want to let that O go. And so far, he's rebounded quite well from that knockdown. He's, uh, he's weathered the storm. He still looks a little rubbery on the legs, but he's still in this fight. But see, this is the experience of Liam Parra. You can see he hasn't lost control. So, although he's winning this fight now, Cherizzi's coming back and he's staying composed. There's still five rounds to go, so he's nice and controlled. He's won the round well. He's 10-8 round. A good body nice shot there from Cherizzi, and there's the counter from Liam Parra. Beautiful round by Liam Parra. Yeah, really, really good round. Face is starting to really mark up there on James Cherizzi in the red corner. Uh, he needs this whole minute of recovery, he does. Let's have a look at these highlights here. Bang, there's that little short left hand that started the, the dramas for the Romanian. It's almost like every shot getting, is getting through now, even when he's taking them on the gloves. They're still hurting that left uppercut. Those shots, the momentum, that's the footwork that put him down there. It's the little shot that just dropped him down with that beautiful momentum. Left hand just missing the mark, but most have hit. James Terizzi's face will tell you that story. You can certainly see that uh, whilst he's behind on the scorecards here, he's, he's had his moments in this fight. He's shown us a willingness to, to still try and mix it up, and he's, he's just trying to get inside those radar-like uh, fists of Liam Paro that are most certainly finding their target at the moment. It looks like he's got his head back here, James Cherizzi, too. So we're still in for a fight here. He won't go down. You can see the, the right eye of James Cherizzi, as you said, so. James, shows the accuracy of Liam Paro. So focused, Liam Paro looks still. Oh, oh nice right hand yeah, by James Cherizzi there. Yeah, that was a good right hand. He 
He braced with it well, but Liam, he took it, rode it well. You can see he's found his distance where he's throwing those little check hooks at. He's just sitting back comfortably, just out of range. That back foot's well. This kid is some, sort, is some type of tough, but look at his face. He's marked up. Oh, well, there's that check step up the line again. Almost making that same shot that almost put him that put him down in the last round. Yep. Look at the eye of James Cherizi. It is marked up. Yeah, that's, that's blowing up. Thank you, Liam Murray, left hand for that one. And you can see it's causing him some concern too. Cherizi is he's is he's looking to see these punches coming. Still got a very high guard, so still doing all the little things right, James Cherise. He's just getting caught with the speed at times of Liampara. And the timing, I think it's a lot of the timing as well. Liampara's in that perfect spot. Sitting in the, all that spot where he can expect him. Wearing a shot there. Yeah, wearing a shot. But coming back with his own. It's a double, ja it's a double jab, left hand. That catches James Cherizzi almost every time. They both try and control the center of the ring, both boxes. Oh, that was a good body shot there for James Cherizzi. Yeah, body it's shot. almost. That's that one he was trying to land earlier. Yeah, this one him. he got spot on the button. Caught him, him a little bit unaware there. That's one that'll test your conditioning. Yeah, that will. <laughs> That's what Leo is going to do there. As he comes in, he's going to have that counter defense ready. Yep. When he catches one, he can fire back. And that was a good body shot himself by Liam Paro. But you can see that's their game plan. They're trying to rip him with that right rip straight to the stomach of Liam Paro. I've, I've, I've heard his father call it on the side. Even though I don't speak their language, I know exactly what he's trying to tell him. And he's trying to say, rip in that right rip as he's coming in. Another good round by Liam Parra there. Hey, little glimpses of uh, some good stuff too there from James Cherisi, but definitely a Liam Parra round, but still competitive. He's still in this fight. But he's recovered quite well from that uh, that round where he suffered the knockdown. We'll see some of the highlights of the round here. There's that uh, that sharp jab from Parra. Finding its target. More of the action here as we uh, get down to the, the next round in this uh, fight tonight. Thanks, Thanks to, to Ultra Tune, Zoo Creative. to Toy Box, Zoo Creative, from Pivotal Tune. Homes, Oxworks, and so many of our wonderful sponsors here. Uh, thank you for supporting Ace Boxing Group's big night of fights tonight. Heavy hitters from the Star Casino here on the beautiful Gold Coast. We're into the second half of the fight round at number seven. Yeah, round seven of ten. It's been a great contest so far. Telling blows have come from Liam Paro, but he's still a live chance, James Cherizzi, and he's going to that body once again. Had some success in round six to the body, so I think his corner might have directed him to go back there and see how he can go in this round. Which is why he's a former WBC youth world champion, James Cherizzi. Just no match for the timing and the speed of the world number two, Liam Paro. Trying to keep him at bay with that jab is Liam Paro, trying to time that big left hand. James is equal to the task at this stage. Trying to keep away from harm's way. Oh, nice left hand there. Liam Barry looks like he's positioned so well. You can see, I know I've spoken about it a lot, but that's it's so impressive. Where's well, another low blow there? Well, that's the third warning. You've got to start taking away points, though. I think that's 
exactly, exactly what Liam Pyro was asking referee Phil Holiday. How many times, sir? That's uh, three warnings he's received for low blows there. Just creeping up with that front foot, Liam. You can see him. He wants to pop that left, big left hand straight down the barrel. You can see just little incremental movements with his front foot, trying to just get into the distance without even nice James Treasy knowing. Foot. Yeah, that's right. Two good shots there from Teresi. Oh, another one, man. Great shot. Oh, that was good. Fires straight back to the body. Liam Parrott answers. Good little section there from James Teresi. Little clash of the heads on the inside there as well. Liam Parrott. Got a right rip to the body. Both boys, both in range, but don't want to press the go button at this stage. There it is there, just oh. missing the mark from James Treasy. And one thing we do know is Liam Paro's chin has been tested on a number of occasions. Nathan, that last fight, oh. 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 it's possibly the best fight I've ever seen for a, from a fan's point of view. Unbelievable last yeah, fight, Liam Paro's. Yeah, that was, that was tough. That was tough. Yeah. Juan Kil Kim was his name. And he tested Liam Paro's chin to the max. Yes, and did. it stood the test. Oh, nice little straight left up there from the angle. A good finish there from Liam Paro. Three rounds left in this bout. When I have a look at some of the highlights you'll see on screen now. It was a more conservative round, that one, compared to the previous. Obviously, both boys just probably having a breather, having a round off, but you'd say the more cleaner shots were still from Liam, so he probably edge out that round, even though that was a great shot great there shot from James, James Ruizzi, so who knows, he could have stolen that round, never know. Very competitive round, round at number seven, very important, eight, nine and ten are ahead of us, they're extremely important rounds for James Ruizzi as he gets uh, some instructions in at that corner from our referee Philip Holliday, just about stepping back and breaking when he calls for the break. Corner working overtime uh, on uh, that eye area there as well. It's quite a collection of bass under that eye. The red corner smart. taking all the time they can. Very smart corner. Very smart corner. Lots of bass over that <laughs> yes, eye too. Don't know how that got <laughs> slapped through. Some of it flies off his face there, Liam Parade. I'm getting <laughs> some of it. Oh, nice little swivel move over there by Liam Parra, putting Sharizzi back on the ropes, but they're found back in centre ring. Very tactical fight being fought here by Liam Parra, just on that back foot all a game of inches. Beautiful left hand landed there. Oh, another one straight through the pipe there. That was a good left hand. Oh, left uppercut landing on Sharizzi. Big test coming up now for James Sharizzi. Oh, another uppercut getting through there. Two and three good shots here in a row from Liam Paro. And he has wobbled James Sharizzi once again in this eighth round. Liam Paro can smell the finish here. Will he push for the Sharizzi? He is tough. He's still firing back. Oh, oh nice. a beautiful body shot by Liam Paro. And, and the, the towel goes in. The towel goes in. That is game over. TKO victory to Liam Paro. His march continues. What a finish. Liam Parra is a finisher. And he is the IBF International Super Lightweight Champion and the WBO Global Super Lightweight Champion. Well done, Liam Parra. His reign continues. And I believe, due to this win, and because of his, obviously, his impressive wins to date, big news is just around the corner for Liam Parra. What a win, and that is a statement made. James Cherizzi, the face of Cherizzi there. He was one tough customer. That shows the skill of Liam Paro. Undefeated, former youth world champion. In the corner, defeated.
Liam Parra, what a champion. Yeah, those straight left hands. They paid all the dividends here tonight. They wobbled him a few times. He probably didn't fully recover from the first knockdown. But he did himself proud. He fought on. He's as tough as teeth, like I said. But just not enough here tonight by the Romanian. Yeah, I was really impressed with the Romanian guys. I, I, I thought he, he came here. You mentioned, and then he said he, it was a mental battle, and that's how he was going to break down Liam Parra. He, uh, he certainly put all of that to the test. He had a clear, concise game plan early. He was going to break him down to the body. Um, unfortunately, as I said, he saw a little bit close to the wind when it came to a few blows there on that belt line. Yep. But so I, th I thought he gave a great account of himself. But look, let, let's concentrate on the winner here, Liam Paro. Another, we just get used to seeing this from him. We're going to have another look here. We'll see, we'll see the finish. Oh, that left hand straight down the pipe. That's what started it. That's what finished it. Oh, that right. It wasn't even a very clean shot. No, I think wasn't. you could just see. Again, I think he was almost defeated. It was the very left hand that hurt him at the start. And the celebration from Liam Paro, well deserved. So a huge win for Liam Paro. Remains undefeated. Both boys embracing the ring. Yep. Remains WBO global champion. Remains, of course, well, IBF international super lightweight champion. I think Liam just said, you are tough. <laughs> he goes, that was a, I, could, I was trying to lip, lip sick there, but uh, all the credit to James Chorizzi, like you said, like and like I've said, he came to fight and he definitely delivered here tonight. He gave him a good test, but Liam passed with flying colors. No, he most certainly did another very, very polished performance from the prodigy. Liam Paro, the journey continues. The top of the mountain, well, he's very close. He's very, very, very close to the top of the mountain. Let's go center ring. Let's make this one official. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I don't need to go to the judges' scorecards for this one. At one minute, 15 seconds, gone of round number eight. The fight has been stopped. Your winner, and still, the IBF International and WBO Global Super Lightweight Champion, Liam, the Prodigy Paro. Disappointing tonight. Yes, but uh, it was a great fight. Liam Paro is a good fighter. What can I say? It's only to thank you to Angelo for this opportunity. I have the chance to fight here, and thank you very much to all the people. I I think it was a great fight, and only thank you. Thank you very much for coming out from Romania and having this fight. We really appreciate it. Fantastic fighter. All right, Liam. You've got quite a collection of those belts now. Yeah, that's it. And um, now we're on, the, we're on the journey to add another one to the collection. So. And you've got quite a collection. You've got quite a collection of people with you as well. You've got one of the biggest entourages going around. Yeah, you know, these are my mates. These people push me through. You know, um, I love them all. You know, it's, it's good. It's a journey. It makes the journey a lot more fun. More people to share the, the, um, the victories with. So it's good, yeah. 
How important is it to have these guys supporting you all the time, day in, day out? Um, it means a lot, you know, my coach, Alfie DiCarlo, puts, um, he's pretty much like my second dad, you know, he, he does, and the whole DiCarlo family, Angelo too, you know, without them I wouldn't be where I am. Um, I've, I've got the best team in the world, you know, I've said it right from the start and I, I keep proving it, you know. Um, I, I can't wait, this is just the start of something big, so I, I want to thank every single one of my team and every single one that comes out and supports, buys tickets every time. Without you, this wouldn't be possible. I love every single one of you. Thank you. Now, just, you've, you've won this one. You've, you've got a few of these belts, all right? I want to know about the possibility of a world title. Alfie, your uh, coach, I heard a little rumour that there could be a world title in the mix. What's happening? Um, yeah, like I said, I had to take care of business like I did tonight. So now um, the next thing on our list is the world title. You know, my team, like I said, we've got the best. We're in talks with um, Frank Warren. So no, I can't, I can't share too much so, until it's locked in. But um, hopefully in 2020, I um, give Chad Catchell his first loss and be world champion. Come on, you've got to share a little bit more with us. Are you sure? You can't tell us? All right, ladies and gentlemen, keep an eye out for this man because... Very, very soon, there's going to be a world title belt wrapped around that waist. Liam Paro.